Hey guys, welcome back to Kia Music Academy. I hope you're doing well. Today I've got a special video for you because I'm going to be showing you my top three guitar warm-ups. Now it doesn't matter what style of guitar you're playing, whether it be classical, flamenco, acoustic, electric, whatever, these warm-ups are designed to help you strengthen one, your left hand and your right hand, because of course with a combination of both you can play to your best ability. So today I'm going to be teaching you the first warm-up is a scale that I'm going to be teaching you, which warms up both your left hand and your right hand in terms of picking with both fingers. And then I'm going to be teaching you the slurs, which are going to help you strengthen your left hand. And finally, an arpeggio, which will give you some speed in your right hand. So a combination of these three, this is what I do every day before I practice. Personally, I've been doing classical guitar for around 10, 11 years now. But any other style, this works for as well, especially if it's like flamenco, classical, anything where you need some sort of speed, strength, stamina. These warm-ups are designed to help you exactly with that. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so this is our first warm-up exercise, which is the major scale. This is movable as well, so wherever you do this scale, you can do it in a different position later on. So, first we're going to learn the left hand part, then I'm going to show you what you need to be doing with your right hand. Starting here, you get into any position, let's say we're going to get into third position for the sake of this. Middle finger and pinky here, and just follow this pattern. So. scale and then you keep going so that's one half of it done then you go back So that was the whole scale done on the left hand side. Now I recommend that you take that very slowly at first and soon you'll begin to memorize the pattern of just which finger goes around. If you stay in this position, so don't move up and down any frets, you'll find that you can do it very easily. You see how my hands are just moving very, very relaxed across the whole thing and then all the way back. So now that was the left hand part. I'll also, I've also put in the music here for you. So if you get confused, you can look at that. Now let's look at the right hand part because that's actually the more important bit that we're focusing on. Although that scale is really focusing on the left hand as well and it gets you quite warmed up, the whole aim is to be warming up and speeding up your right hand, which is why, so originally I just played one hit of each note, but when you actually practice this scale, you're gonna do, so using your I and M index and middle fingers, one, two, three, four, next note, So that was the speed that I practiced it at when I warm up. Now, when you're going to start doing this, first you probably can only do like as slow as we just did it in the run through, but the aim is to get it faster, but clearly. So I don't want to be hearing like, like that was like, I don't want to hear it. That's just muted. We want it nice and clear. And so on. And realize that I'm using rest stroke. So when I get to here, so I'm going to hit the string, my finger rests back on the string before it. You can also do this in free strokes, so just plucking the string. But I recommend a variation on both of them. So one time, so you, and the whole point is when you practice the scale, you do it in one position, then you move up. And so on, all the way down and then back up. Then you move on, you do this in three different positions. You can choose to do like one rest stroke, one free stroke, and then the other one rest stroke or free stroke, whichever one you like. 
and then that will get you warmed up and ready for part two. Okay, so here we are in part two of this tutorial. Now this next exercise is really focusing on your left hand and strengthening the muscle here. So you can see, I've even got a very strong muscle here from doing this exercise so many times over and over. You're gonna experience some hurting when you do it originally, but then as time goes on, you'll get stronger and better at it. Okay, so let's for instance, start on the second fret here, index finger and middle finger here. Now you're gonna play the in that note there with your index finger. So you can do your rest stroke or free stroke, whichever one. When you play it, you don't play again, but you hammer in the next note, and then you pull it off. That's called a slur. So hammer on, pull off. That wasn't very good. Play, hammer on, pull off, and then you keep doing that. So you can do like three or four to begin with, because as you keep going, it's gonna start hurting. So you do. Then you move across to the next string, same thing. Next string, next string, next string, and then, so the whole aim is to be kind of when I hit this and I bring it back, it's kind of plucking it just with this hand, not even using my other hand, so I only hit the actual note once. So I hit it, and then I basically just re-pluck it with this hand, and then you go all the way back down. Now once that is done, now you start with your middle finger and your ring finger. So from the same place that you were, same position, you imagine you went all the way and you came back and you ended up here again. Then next time. And then, and then you go all the way, come back and finally you start here. This is the hardest one because your pinky is the weakest one. So personally, if I can do like, for example, like 10 slurs each time on each string, and then I can do like seven, eight on this hand and then probably like five or four on this one because this is the weaker one. So I would suggest once you get really good at the first two variations, then you do the last one with the pinky and really focus on getting that stronger because that will help you when you've got a slur in any type of song, you have nice and strong slurs instead of like, that's not what we want to hear. When you have a slur, we want to hear. So you're going to come across a lot of those situations later on when you're playing and this exercise gets you quite ready for that. Okay, so this is our final exercise, and now we're focusing on the right hand, and again, getting speed and working on our arpeggios. Now, this is an arpeggio exercise, so you don't need to be holding anything down on your left hand, just using the right hand here with the open strings. We're going to start thumb on our low E string, and then our A finger or ring finger on our highest E string. Play them together, and then middle on second string, and then index on the third string, Back to the second string. Now, so that was one, two, three, four. And then you repeat that pattern, but this time your thumb comes down to the A string. Again. And now to the fourth string. Back to the fifth string. kind of tell that there's a pattern. These three index, middle and ring finger are just doing that. First string, second string, third string, second string. So you're just kind of moving back and forth. And then this thumb is moving E, A, D, A, E, A, D, and then you can. And you'll get eventually tired once you do it a couple of times, but try to maintain a steady speed where you can, we don't want it to become just the bass, so we want them to be equal sounding both in terms of volume, so. You don't want to have like, because when you get quieter, you can actually play it a lot faster, but the whole point is to work on your volume and your speed at the same time. So when you're playing fast, in some cases, you can also play loud. So work on that around a whole minute, just back and forth, down, down, back up. These three fingers doing the same thing, thumb making that movement. Think of it separately and it'll help you understand it a lot easier. 
Okay guys, so there we have it. That was a combination of my top three warm-up exercises. So you had your scale working on both hands in terms of speed and strength. We had our slurs purely focusing on your left hand strength, especially that one with the pinky at the end. And finally, we had our arpeggio. Now, do it in that order. Scale, slurs, arpeggio. Three scales. You do the slurs all the way back and forth for each finger. And then you do your arpeggio around one to two minutes. And that will get you perfectly warmed up to start playing whatever you're going to do. Use those three, you're gonna get a lot stronger. You're gonna see that you improve in your playing if you do it consistently every day and try to push yourself bit by bit. So still trying to sound clear and good when you do the warm ups, but trying to make it a little bit faster each time. And you're gonna see the effects of that. Trust me, I've done it for the past five or six years and it's actually really helped me in my playing. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna be posting lots of more videos now that I'm back. I've been doing the Setfits competition as you've seen on my channel. I was away for around a month practicing and getting ready for the competition and thank god i got first prize in that competition as well if you want to see that video i'll link it in the description here for you so you can go see my performances but now that we're back we're going to be doing lots of frequent uploads so stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next video thank you